Hello. Um, so as Dan said, I'm an actor. And I started acting when I was about six or seven years old. And um, when I was like eight years old, I was on this television show called Joan of Arcadia. And um, there was a, a fan of the show who lived in Canada, who was named Melissa. And she made me a website with like all of my work on it and stuff. It was really cool because I was eight and completely technologically challenged. Um, so I wouldn't have been able to do any of that stuff. Um, so it was, it was like a really cool little thing that was on the interweb. And um, there was this one like part of the site that was a message board where I could go and talk to like my fans and stuff. And so this was before Facebook or Twitter or anything. So like the only way to communicate with your fans was to have like a website and like the message board thing. So um, I had done like some Disney when I was younger. And so most of my fans were like tween girls who were like really cute and young and loved That's So Raven. And so I like always talked to them and it was like super fun. And um, I would let them know about like upcoming gigs or projects or things that were gonna air whenever I stopped by. And then um, there was one person who commented a lot on the message board who was not a tween girl, but was in fact a 53 year old man named Dave who lived in Florida. And I was like, that's not what the rest of the people on this side are like. And so I like made a mental note of that, but I was like eight years old. And um, I stopped by the site one time and there was a poem posted on the site written by Dave for me called Six Days, Four Sentences. And apparently I hadn't gone on the site in six days. And when I went on, I only wrote four sentences. And he compared that experience to dragging himself through a desert only to receive a mouthful of water and how it just wasn't enough. <laughs> and so at this point I was like, mom, <laughs> what is this? And so, you know, my mom like kept an eye on everything that I was doing and she was like, this guy's strange, don't talk to him. So I was like, noted. Um, and then a little bit of time passed and I was performing at like my town's arts festival. I was like singing and dancing and things that eight year old kids do. And um, so I posted about it on the site and I was like, hey guys, I'm doing this performance, it'd be really cool, blah, blah, blah. And um, Dave like jokingly wrote like, hey, I'm gonna fly in from Florida and see you perform, but I'm really hard of seeing, so make sure you kick me in the leg so I know who you are. Then I was like, ha, ha, ha. And that was it. <laughs> and so then, um, my performance happened and it went great. It was like super fun and my friends were all there and I got through it, great, whatever. And afterwards I was like talking to a group of my friends and fans and whatnot and my mom was with me but then my mom had to like go get something from the car or something so she stepped away for a sec and this guy comes up to me and he was like, great job, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, thank you so much. And then he was like, you didn't kick me. And I was like, what? <laughs> and he was like, you, you didn't kick me in the leg. I'm, I'm hard of seeing, I told you that, but luckily I, I recognized your voice from TV, so I was able to figure out which one you were. And I was like, oh, this is Dave, cool. So, you know, I was like, I was a smart eight-year-old, so I was really polite, and I was like, thank you so much for coming, awesome, and then I went the other way. And it was like an all-day arts festival thing, like kids were painting and whatnot, so I was like doing different activities, and throughout the day, wherever I was, Dave was like somewhere in my peripheral vision, and I was just getting like really creeped out. And um, there was this like, I had been drinking from a water bottle and I had set it down and at one point I went to go get it and I watched Dave pick up the water bottle, unscrew it, smell it, and put it in his backpack. And I was like, oh my God. And so I like told my mom at this point, I was like, mom, I'm like really uncomfortable with this guy. And we kind of made like all of my friends and their parents aware that there was like this strange man wandering around following me everywhere. and. So everyone like kept an eye out and then some time passed and he disappeared. So we were like, okay, great. Dave went home, fantastic. And we were kind of just like, okay, that was that, what a weird experience. And then a little more time passed and Dave comes back and he walks up to me and he gives me a napkin with a poem written on it called six hours by plane, one hour by car, endless sentences. And on this note, he described 
his like experience traveling to come see me perform and how he just like couldn't get enough of it and now he wanted to like see me every day and hear from me more and he wanted to always feel my presence. So at this point, my parents were like, nope, that's where the line is crossed. And um, they actually called the police and Dave had to be like escorted out of the event because like we didn't want him to follow me home. We just like didn't know what this guy was capable of or whatever. And um, then I went on the message board later that day and um, there was one message from Dave that said, no more sentences. And then he'd logged out and like deleted his account. And I guess I like really hurt him or something. And um, I uh, never heard from him again. So, thanks. Thanks. <laughs>